Days after a high-profile meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Iranian President Moitaba Petsheshkian, Iran's stance has taken a dramatic turn, shifting from cautious diplomacy to an aggressive military posture, signaling its intent to counter Israel and the U.S. head-on. Tehran has declared there are no red lines when it comes to defending its sovereignty. Speaking during a visit to Iraq, Iranian Foreign Minister Abbas Arakchi reiterated Iran's readiness to respond to any scenario as tensions with Israel and its allies rapidly escalate. The Islamic Republic of Iran does not want escalated tensions and war, although it's ready for any situation. Arakchi emphasized Iran's efforts to prevent all-out war, but his message was clear. We have no red line in defense of our interests. His warning comes as the conflict deepens between Israel and Iran's axis of resistance, which includes Hamas, Hezbollah, and other Iranian-backed groups. Clashes between Israel and Hezbollah are intensifying, with Hezbollah launching a deadly drone strike on an Israeli base near Binyamina. Four soldiers were killed, seven more wounded, the deadliest Hezbollah attack since Israel's ground invasion of Lebanon two weeks ago. Hezbollah called it a direct retaliation for Israeli airstrikes that killed 22 in Beirut. Hezbollah escalated the assault, targeting Israel's elite Golani Brigade with a barrage of missiles, overwhelming Israeli defense systems. The drone strikes come amid Hezbollah's claims that Israel is behind recent explosions in Lebanon, stoking further animosity. Iran also weighed in. In early October, Tehran unleashed nearly 200 missiles at Israel, most intercepted by Israeli air defenses. Iran justified the missile barrage as retaliation for Israel's operations, including the targeted killings of key Hezbollah and Hamas figures. In response, Israel has mounted ground incursions into southern Lebanon, aiming to neutralize Hezbollah rocket threats. Despite the attacks, Hezbollah's resistance remains unyielding, continuing to bombard Israeli military and civilian targets, heavily backed by Iranian funding and weapons. The region is in a state of alert. The chance for clashes is very high. The root cause is the crimes of the Zionist regime, which started in Gaza and have now expanded to Lebanon. Iran's axis of resistance, a network of allies including Hezbollah, Hamas, and Yemen's Houthis, continues to threaten regional stability. Tehran's backing of these groups has raised fears of a prolonged and destructive conflict, with peace in the Middle East slipping further out of reach. While Iran denies direct military aid to Lebanon, its unwavering support for its proxies keeps the Middle East on the brink of war. Efforts to prevent conflict are quickly becoming futile.